Oh, don't look so down, May. Your father means well. You can't keep me locked up here forever. I know, dear. And I want you to go. No, you don't. You know I'm almost an adult now, and you're losing control over me. May, that's not true, and you know it. Then how come I can't go outside by myself? Walk through the neighborhood by myself? Explore the forest by myself? Well, because it's dangerous. We don't want you to get hurt, because we love you. If you really love me, you'd let me leave. May, I can't. Of course not. Heaven forbid that you don't have control of my life every second of the day. I can't even go a single day without being told what to do, or where to go, or who to be. And you do it just because you can. It's enough to drive me crazy. You wonder why I want to leave so bad. I hate it here. Over here. Huh? No, wait. Over here. No, I'm here. I'm here. Oh, you just missed me. Who are you? Stop that. Yeah, I'm just pulling your leg here, kid. To kind of spice things up a bit. It gets boring being trapped in here all the time. You still didn't answer my question. Ooh, feisty, huh? <laughs> the name's Imp, practical trickster and full-time reaper at your service. Seems like you're a full-time clock to me. <laughs> oh, you're hilarious. I like that about you, May. How do you know my name? The details aren't important. Look, kid, I need you to do me a favor. Um, how about you do me a favor and one, tell me where I am, and two, get me down from here. <laughs> Again with that sense of humor of yours, May. I'm not joking. Well, neither am I. You know what it feels like to be trapped, to be caged, forbidden from leaving one place, never to see the outside world. Well, that's me. I've been locked up here in this clock by my superiors for a long, long time now. Just like you have been by your parents. So, what am I supposed to do about it? Well, now that you mention it, right now you could just tap my clock's face and set me free for a minute. Will you tell me what I want to know and let me down if I do? Hey, if you scratch my back, I'll scratch yours. Yeah, what a relief. I was starting to get cramped up in there. So, are you going to tell me where I am? Well, I was hoping we could talk business first, but... I'm not interested. Hey, kid. I don't know where you're going, but I'm thinking it's in your best interest to... Leave me alone. Oh, come on now. I know you just died and all, but that's no reason to act that way. <laughs> um, I'm not dead. Right. So there's no easy way to put this, but you're dead. Ha! You're bluffing. Uh, kid, where do you think you are right now? I don't know. This is probably just a weird dream. The last thing I remember is being at home, so I'm probably sleeping. Wait, 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 wait. You don't remember running away? Into the storm? No. Wait! What happened? Lightning, kid. Ooh, so unlucky. And gross. Oh. My god. This isn't happening. This isn't real. <laughs> Want me to pinch you? It's real. Want me to punch you? Don't touch me. Okay. I know you're upset right now, but look. I need you to listen to my offer. Believe it or not, I'm trying to save you right now. What do you mean, save me? Okay. Your soul is no longer in your body. So it's up for grabs for any other Reaper who passes through here. Other Reapers, they want to use you for power and send you straight to the underworld. But me, I got that privilege taken away from me. And I'm sealed in here until I can reap at least one soul in this state. Um, so what are you going to do to me? I'm not going to send you to hell, that's for sure. 
you're going to help me out, right? So I'll give you another chance at life. You can bring me back to life? Only if you work for it. Well, do I really have a choice right now? I'm consulting the magic wristwatch in the middle of purgatory. <laughs> First of all, I'm a pocket watch. Second of all, you do have a choice. You can take my offer and have a chance to live again, or walk away and let some other reaper decide your fate. Completely up to you. How do I know I can trust you? Aw, what? You don't trust me? Um, no, actually, because how do I know you won't just send me to the underworld anyways? Kid, if I still had the power to do that, we wouldn't have even talked. You'd already be down there. Huh. <laughs> nice. Nicer than most Reapers you'd meet. And more annoying, I'm sure. <laughs> Absolutely. So, let me give you the rundown. Originally, I lived in a place called the Rift, where the Reapers live. I purged souls and collected them for power. But I goofed, and my leader sealed me into this clock and forbade me to leave until I claimed a single soul while in this state. That's where I come in. Hey, now you're getting it, exactly. But instead of sending you to heaven or hell, I'll do you a favor and revive you. Since you're helping me escape this dumb clock and all. But before that, you have to work. Which means I'm going to have to curse you. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay, explain. Okay. I'm going to grant you possessive abilities. You know, possess other bodies and whatnot. And you're going to do what I say for a little while. Then you'll be free and alive. Being bossed around by you really seems like a curse at this point. Could be worse, kid. Ah. <clears throat> What's happening? Don't worry about it. <laughs> Look, just make a decision. <laughs> and hurry! But I don't even know what I'm going to do yet! Look, May, you're just going to have to trust me. Trust you? You're practically a demon! I may look it, but I still got a heart, kid. I'll take care of you. May! What are you waiting for? I'm trying to save you! May? May! Can you hear me? Yeah? Where am I? Nowhere, currently. I'm finding a vessel for you. Why can't I just go back to my body? Didn't you hear what I said earlier? Lightning, kid. Your old body's incinerated. Not pretty. Oh. Don't worry, I'll restore it later. But for now, get ready. I found someone. <laughs>